Hey y'all, um, it's George again, and uh, you know, I, I work at the, the local homeless ministry, and um, I meet a lot of travelers, and Thursday, um, you know, I met this guy that I used to correspond with when, I was, when he was in prison, and um, just so happened to come down to the ministry where I worked, and he had no idea that that I was there, and he introduced himself, and I'm like, hey, I, you know, I know somebody by that name, and I told him my name, and uh, he said, hey, I know somebody by that name, I'm like, you know, I asked him, so were you recently incarcerated, and he was like, yeah, you know, I, I was, and I was like, I used to write to you, and, and, you know, encourage you, and he was like, man, you know, I really enjoyed those letters, and so we got to talk and meet each other, and, and get to know each other, and it was, it was really good, you know, and um, just so happened that, you know, he was traveling from, from south of where I am and he was walking and he came into contact with um, with some people who uh, beat him up. And uh, he was split across the eye and um, on the cheek and, uh, and he was um, kicked severely in... Uh, in some very bad parts of his body and uh, they beat him there for quite a while and uh, he was really in pain and you know, my heart just went out to him and so you know I asked him if he wanted to go to the hospital and of course he said yes and so I, shortly after I drove him to the hospital and um, the hospital checked him out and um, you know being that he was homeless they didn't really keep him very long but they said that there really wasn't a whole lot they could do for him so they released him and I went and picked him up and you know my heart just went out to him so I um, I got him a hotel room through a, a friend that um, that uh, donates to our ministry and I got him a hotel room for a couple of nights and you know the whole way to pick up his prescription and the whole way to, to the motel room he's telling me you know what a great guy I am for doing this for him and he's like you know how can I ever repay you and you know and then man you're such a good kind-hearted person and I'm you know I'm kind of just you know I hear it a lot I'm just kind of blowing it off I'm just like yeah hey you know, this is what I do you know this is, this is what the Lord has me to do you know and um, you know, I'm not really taking any weight with, with any of it, and, you know, um, he just thought the world of me, you know, for writing him while he was in prison. We didn't know each other before then. And, uh, for getting his prescription filled for him, and for, um, for getting him a motel room, but most of all, for talking to him, and, and, and for taking the time on him. I, I made him the most important thing that day. You know, other people were trying to get me to, to help them and trying to get me to take care of them. But my my sights were really set on this this, this man on this journey, this 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 homeless man who um, was just looking for a home. And uh, he kept telling me about how he was going to get a church family and, you know, he wanted to get involved. He wanted to start, you know, getting back into the swing of things like he used to be. And so I dropped him off at the hotel with no, you know, uh, thinking that I would, um, I would soon see him again, you know, I'd, I'd see him tomorrow, and, um, I got a call today, and, uh, he died. He died shortly after I dropped him off, and, um, I don't know how to take that. You know, um, I did all those things for him because, you know, Jesus led me to do them. And um, I just thought it was so cool that God had placed him in my path. And uh, now he's gone home to be with the Lord. I mean, I'm, I'm happy about that. I am, you know, um, but it makes me think and it makes me wonder how much more I could have done or how much more I could have said with the time that God had placed him in front of me. And he knew the Lord, you know, he did, and um, it's 
we just take it for granted sometimes, don't we? That we're going to see people tomorrow. Our loved ones, our friends, people we work with. We just take it for granted like like we're going to see them again when when we say goodbye and um, tomorrow is not promised to us. I don't know if I told him I loved him, but I do. I barely know. Probably didn't tell him. Wish I would have. Wish I'd have gave him a hug. I shook his hand, but I wish I'd have gave him a hug. No, but um, I really hope and uh, I pray that when it's when it's my turn to be called home and if we're met you know at the proverbial heaven gate by all those whose lives we've impacted i i, I hope he's there i hope he's there um out of all of the people that i know i really hope and pray that he'll be there so um don't take it for granted and uh Take the time to tell the people you love the most, I mean, the people in your life, that you love them. And um, don't be afraid to do good. Don't be afraid to do good with the time that you have. Because you're never going to, you, you never know if it's your last minute or the one you're helping's last minute. If you'll ever see them again. Don't wait till tomorrow to, to help someone today. I love you. I'll talk to you later.